Dreams are not enough. Lots of people think they have goals, but what they call goals, I call dreams. Dreams are great. They can help you define your goals, but dreams need goals to grab them out of the air and drag them into reality. I've developed a concrete plan to help you transform your dreams into goals and your goals into your waking life. And it's only slightly painful. You in? That's a tricky one. For our purpose today, a goal is something we have control over, something we can create an actionable plan to make happen. I wanna be a famous surfer, that's a dream. I wanna be the best surfer I can be, that's a goal. Ah. Once you turn your dream into a goal, you can find the tools that you need to make it happen. Having a set of well-defined goals with a supporting plan, whether it's for your business, relationships, personal health, or general happiness, makes things faster with less work and less stress and that means a more chill, connected, and rewarding life. There are very few things in life that will have a more profound effect on your future than setting a goal. The act of setting a goal causes physiological changes that prime us for success. When you set a goal, the brain releases dopamine that helps keep us motivated and focused on our goal. It activates the prefrontal cortex, which is the part of the brain responsible for planning, decision-making, and problem-solving. That makes it easier for us to develop strategies and overcome obstacles along the way. Setting a goal also strengthens your neural pathways, making it easier to take the steps needed to achieve it. And it does all of this for free. free. So start setting some goals already. Living a goal-focused life doesn't mean you have to be a stressed out grind machine maniac, leaving destruction in your wake and gobs of hair in your shower drain. In fact, Let's start by making one of our goals to live a chill, connected, and rewarding life. Then filter all the other goals through this one. Cool? Yeah. But first, let me put you in the driver's seat of a 1973 dune buggy. You're welcome. You're sitting in this dune buggy. It's got a deep blue paint job with metal fleck that sparkles in the morning sunshine. Super sweet car, by the way. Before deciding where you want to go, you just start to drive. You're excited to be in a dune buggy. I get it. You might experience some interesting things along the way. You might have fun, or you might end up on a freeway stuck in bumper to bumper traffic, sucking in everyone else's exhaust. You might feel like your life was directionless, maybe even meaningless. You would never get to your destination because you didn't have one in the first place. And now you've run out of gas. Then a meteor falls on your car and kills you dead. Too bad you didn't have a goal. Let's start over. This time, you hop into your dune buggy and you set a goal. Drive to the sand dunes at the beach. I like the way you think. But before you start driving, you realize you don't know how to get there. That's okay. We can fix that. Talk to people who've been there before. How did they get there? Make a map. Now that you have a goal, you can make a plan. The first plan may not work. A road could be closed on account of that meteor crash. But if that happens, you can evaluate where you are versus where you want to be and adjust the plan so that you keep moving towards the goal. Even if sometimes you have to move further away to get to the road that will take you back where you want to go. Side note, it depends on your personality, your appetite for adventure, and how quickly you want or need to get to your destination, you know, achieve your goal. But I usually create a pretty detailed map. And I study it enough to understand it, and then I leave it in the glove box so I'm present and living life on the journey. If I get lost, map is only an arm's length away. I can be back on track in no time. No need to stress out. If you'd feel more comfortable sticking to the map the whole time, well, you be you. How do we transform our dreams into goals so we can create an actionable plan to make our goals and hopefully our dreams come true? That depends on the dream. Dream, become the richest man on earth. Goal, create a plan to build a product or business that solves a common problem. Dream. Write a number one pop hit that becomes an anthem for a generation and makes me a superstar icon, the likes of which have never before graced the planet you call Earth. Goal, learn guitar. Dream, fall in love. Goal, eat healthy, be kind, practice self-care, take a shower, and ask out three people a week. You see how this works? Have a goal that supports your dream. Create sub-goals that move you towards the main goal. Adjust each sub-goal until you reach your main goal. Then, if your main goal doesn't get you closer to your dream, Iterate your main goal and create new sub-goals. Along the way, do your best to stay present. Create goals that are specific, measurable, achievable, and relevant. Set realistic expectations for yourself. Don't beat yourself up when you encounter roadblocks and failures along the way. Learn from your mistakes. Be patient and persistent. Living a more chill, connected, and rewarding life doesn't mean accomplishing less or not having direction. It's about giving ourselves the tools to help us achieve our goals more easily and efficiently with less stress along the way. There are very few tools in life more powerful than setting a goal. And the most powerful tool for setting goals is the why. 
the why behind the goal. But that's for another time. In the meantime, if you want a boost from Lady Luck to help you achieve those goals quicker, watch this video.